Hey guys, White here, uh, bringing you uh, my player or uh, create a legend, as it's called in NBA 2K12, uh, of Enos Cantor. Um, I wanted to play a center because I'm I'm not too good in the post and I want to get better, and so I figured what a what a better way than you know working one on one. So um, here's a little bit of his attributes. Um, he's a good inside shooter. He can actually shoot the medium range pretty well too. He um, he's good at three throws, so I'm loving that. Um, his shooting traffic's pretty good. His dunk needs to get a little bit better. His uh, hands, I may need to work on a little bit though. Um, it also seems like he's pretty good defensively in the low post, but his vertical is gonna kill me. Um, he looks like he's pretty strong though, and he's got some durability, so hopefully won't get any injuries that you know keep us out for too long. But he's a 63 overall, and he's he's actually not too clutch, so we may have to change that in case they start going to me later in the game. Um, but as you can see there, his his abilities are pretty good, as we as we probably expected. His dribbling moves aren't too good, but he's got some good post moves. Um, you know, some the post hop shot. He's got he's got a couple of good ones, so I may go to those if I need to. Um, but uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm 8th in the rotation. Um, my role as a prospect player. I want to get 10 minutes a game, but um, with all the my players, they seem to give you a little bit more. You know, they give you like 12, you know, just so you can kind of prove yourself. Um, but I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be um, behind Al Jefferson, which is unfortunate, and uh, Mehmet Okur. But uh, Okur is actually getting less minutes than me. If you saw, he was ninth or 10th behind me, so... Um, I should, it shouldn't be too hard, but it'll, it'll be tough to beat Al Jefferson for the starting spot. And I'm not sure if I want to, so who knows? I may, I may end up trading myself, but, uh, I just wanted to give you guys also in these videos, uh, or my player, I want to, um, you know, just talk to you guys, um, catch up, um, give a little bit about myself. Um, I've been watching some YouTube videos of commentary for a long time and I've, I've really enjoyed a lot of the good commentators um, and I wanted to give it a shot myself that's kinda weird they, they don't have Alec Burns for the Jazz they don't have his pitcher up I was wondering if we were gonna start with a shooting guard or not but um, looks like I'm gonna have to draw foul limit my matchup to two in the paint and I get a C plus or better teammate grade so the, they don't sound too bad. The foul might be a little hard. I don't know how many times I'm going to get the ball and how many times I'm driving to the hoop. But in the post, it shouldn't be too hard to draw a foul. So um, I just wanted to um, catch up with you guys. And I want you guys to know that if you have any games you'd like to request, me playing against a certain team or as a certain team, or um, doing a, you know, created player and um, you know playing as Kobe or playing as someone weird um, playing as Derek Fisher uh, someone at the end of their career giving them some kind of crazy final season you know request it you know send me a comment and uh, I'd be happy to do it because I'd love to um, you know give you guys whatever you you want to watch so uh, also feel free to comment on my commentating um, I'm doing this mainly to try and get better as a commentator and, um, you know, just see where I can find my niche uh, making videos. Um, I did film for a long time, so I'm, I'm going to enjoy doing the commentating side of it. Editing comes really easy to me, so I can pull a video out pretty quickly. So I think I may be doing a video a day. Uh, I have some family coming into town, so we'll see whether or not, you know, I can get a video out every day. But if not every day, every other day, at least. So uh, that's something you guys will be able to come to expect. Um, I should be moving at the beginning of January, though. So um, just through this holiday season, um, we may see uh, me drift off, you know, my rough schedule of making videos. But uh, I'm actually excited because I've been doing a lot of association games, as you saw in my last game against the Kings. Um, I haven't played any associations games since then, but um, I, b I was trying to look to actually trade Derek Fisher, and that was one of the things that I couldn't get, you know, a young guy that I wanted, so um, I figured I'd take out my frustrations against other post players with uh, Enos Cantor. 
So I'm um, getting the tip off here, and they uh, I go ahead and sub to the next time they put me in. And uh, they don't put me in until four left in the first quarter. But they seem to have played me. Um, they played me at the end of the first, end of the second, and the end of the third. And they didn't even play me. So I got at least some good minutes. I got about 13 minutes this game. So it'll be a nice, uh, decently short video. But um, I'm just giving you guys an update. And you see there, Luskola just taking it to me. I couldn't, I couldn't get back on him. I was trying to get around my own, my own teammate, and um, wasn't defending him very well. And there, I get my first rebound as my NBA player, and uh, it's defensive rebound. But it's the only one I get all game. Al Jefferson there getting a getting a great block. We head off in transition, and um, you see there I'm just trying to pick up points where I can for my teammate grade. I'm screening a lot, and uh, at the closing seconds of the game I get this turnaround post move from near the three point line. And it's the last second shot of the game, and it was amazing. I couldn't tell you. I think I got up on my chair. I did a battle cry. It was. It just was awesome. So um, I think that kind of cemented at least how good I could be. And you see there, I'm still getting points for post moves for after the end of the first. So we're down by five at the end of the first. It's a it's a low scoring game, but. Um, it, it was a lot of fun to play as a post player. Unfortunately, I I, don't, I really think I gotta increase my verticals because I was trying to get a couple of rebounds and they just weren't they weren't coming to me. But uh, it seems like Luis Gold was running a lot of plays where he was just sitting out over by the three point line and he doesn't shoot those shots and he won't. But you see there, uh, I think it's Lowry. Gives a nice alley oop to a teammate, and and he gets right by Mehmet Okur. I don't think Mehmet Okur, whether he was thinking like, hey, maybe you know I'll get him, but you see there, I got a dynamic goal, okay, and it was tie the game up by half. We're we're down by five, and after that crazy dunk by Lee, getting by two players and dunking at home, I don't know how they they think I'm gonna. I never get the ball. I don't know how they think I'm gonna you know, keep us in the game, or at least tie it up by, you know, two more minutes left in the half. And you see that again, nice, another post move against, uh, against, uh, Luis Scola. And, you know, I'm using my strength. He's got a lot of strength, and I really love that for a big man. You know, being able to work myself inside. And, uh, getting another move in the post, just backing him up, backing him up. And, um, Really taking it to him. I didn't realize how much strength I had until this play. Getting the up and under layup and uh, actually getting a B for a teammate grade. You know, I was doing a lot of screens and um, that last second shot really shut up my teammate grade. But that's five points in the quarter as I as I end the third with six. I end the halftime with six. It's 39 to 33. It's a really low scoring game. But I'm happy because it's keeping it close. So, you know, I may still pull out the win. Um, I haven't gotten any rebounds, which I really felt as a big man was the way you padded your stats. And um, I don't want to be a big, big man that, you know, I get like, hey, I get seven rebounds a game. Like, I'm 6'11", you know, I feel like I should be pulling down double digits and rebounds. Even, you know, if I'm just playing for 20 minutes or something like that. So, um, you see there... I get the touch. I could have sworn there that I got the offensive rebound because I think if you just touch it on the offensive boards, it counts as an offensive rebound, even if you're just tipping it or whatever. So um, I don't know why I didn't get the offensive board there. I really wish I would have. That would have been a huge boost to my uh, teammate. Group. But um, they didn't give it to me, and so um, we were kind of struggling on the boards whenever I was in. But um. You see, they uh, don't sub me in all the way until five minutes left in the third. But I'm going to play all five of those minutes, so I was pretty excited about that. And uh, as we go here, you'll see that um, I tend to love trying to run the plays. And see right there, I, uh, I can't get the rebound. I'm in perfect position. 
I should, you know, I have the strength to get those rebounds. My rebounding scores are both in the high 70s. I should pull down that rebound. And a horrible pass into me, and I, I freak out with my controller there, and it does some weird fakes, but I end up getting a double move leading to score. And so I was psyched about that. I mean, I didn't even mean to do that. I was, I think I was just messing with the buttons for some reason. And I ended up getting some, uh, like some hesitations or something like that. And, uh, you see there, I thought I was going to get, you know, a nice little score, but it says I won my dynamic goal. I evened up the score, but it's after halftime, so I have no idea how that happened, that I won my dynamic goal, uh, even though it's after half, because if you go back and look, it says tied up by half. But I won my dynamic goal of, you know, getting the, tying the score, evening it up. So, I don't know how how I won that, but I'm not arguing, because that's more points towards me, but um, yeah, we really came back in that, that third quarter to bring it up by two, and you see we uh, finish off the game, winning by three, 83-80, and um, this was a great game for uh, Enos Cantor. I kept um, Uli Skola, who's the, the Rockets' new center, from um, doing too much in the post, and I uh, finished the game with uh, no turnovers for more than 10 minutes, so I got a couple of milestones there, as well as getting eight points, so I get the five, the five um, point per game, five point for a single game milestone. And um, I check my performance here. Um, yeah, I get 13 minutes, eight points, one rebound. I went four for five, so that was awesome. But um, you see there, I I get four, I get three milestones, and I complete my dynamic goal. So I was able to get a lot. I got um, I think it was like two thousand uh two thousand four hundred uh skill points. And so I go back to the menu, and it says I have um three thousand three thousand six hundred and sixty. I don't know where that extra thousand came from, or so, but, you know, <laughs> I'm not arguing with getting extra points, so, um, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna go my skills menu here, and, um, I'm gonna put them all into vertical, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the vertical, just cause, um, you can see that my, my, um, rebounds is fine, but, um, my vertical is it a 28 so I really think that's where I'm hurt so um yeah I'm gonna be bringing you more videos um as soon as I can the next one will probably be an association game unless uh you know I can't I'll have time enough to edit it in time for you know uh, a rough uh day after tomorrow deadline so um hope you guys enjoyed this video please feel to comment like subscribe all right guys this is white take care